So we're here with uh, Jonathan Rizzo, who is the, the guy behind Neon. And well, uh, what have we got on the table today? Uh, so on the KD Neon stall today, I've got the uh, KD Slimbook, of course, which has been a very successful partnership with our friends over there at uh, the Slimbook stall. And they've created this beautiful shiny machine that you can buy with KD Neon pre-installed so that you can be certain that, um, that we've tested the hardware so that you know it works with the software, which mm -hmm. is not usually the case with, with uh, installing Linux. Um, and specifically on this machine, where I'm showing with the uh, neon Docker images because I think that's a great way to uh, test and, and develop with KDE software. So if a user reports a bug, usually you go, uh, user, that, that the old version, can you please test it with a new version? And they go, well, my distro doesn't have the new version, so no. Um, but using Docker images, it's, it's trivial to download the latest image and you've got the new version right there. Uh, so it's a uh, one gigabyte download and then you just run one command, which is just uh, the neon docker command. And then unlike a virtual machine, it doesn't take ages to start up because it, it's using the same kernel. So it's just, it starts up as fast as your normal desktop system will start up. Wow, and, and there you can run a full plasma session within uh, within your existing plasma session, except it's a completely separate environment. So this is a, uh, that's using the unstable version. You can see we've got this um, new user interface, QML interface for system settings there. But meanwhile, I can say, well, give me the latest user edition, which is the latest released packages. And you can start that at the same time. And, uh, and that will that gets built daily by Neon, and it gets automatically updated from updates on the on the download.kde server. So it's got the latest release software. So it should be bug free and perfect. And you can see that it's running a different version. So it's got the older or the, the currently existing system settings interface. And so depending on what version people are reporting bugs against or what version you want to develop against, you can easily try them both. Excellent. And uh, so. I, I have to ask, is this already a distro or not a distro? Uh, uh, I mean, there, there was this, it, this controversy yeah, about call it if it's a you distro want. or not. Call it whatever you want. I, I, I don't what, what do you it. call it? What do you call it? I just call it a, a continuous integration project. A continuous that's, integration that's project. Buzzwordy. Okay. <laughs> and because we only care about the KDE stuff, so a distro will typically care about uh, 10,000 different ah. projects from 10,000 different um, open source project, and we only care about KDE, and everything else is just there to support KDE. Right. Uh, so it's a limited use case if you want to use um, the latest GNOME software or whatever, um, but if you're a KDE fan or interested in our software or you're actively contributing to our software, then this is the good stuff. Right. Brilliant. Thanks very much. So over here, oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> we also have a, a display of Plasma Mobile, right. and so this we've been developing for a number of years. Um, and it, it's, it feels like quite a slow-moving project at times because uh, unlike developing on the desktop where there's your typical standard IBM PC Intel stuff, uh, here of course every single device is, has its own differences and challenges um, and we, we're using the Google Nexus 5X uh, which is uh, a pretty open and um, readily available device uh, and it's also working with Project Halium which means that now Plasma Mobile is working with the Ubuntu community team and a couple of other mobile teams uh, working on a common platform. So they, the whole uh, platform and device support should be the same across those different projects. But this is our um, Plasma software, which shares 90% of the code base with the desktop, um, but of course has a different form factor. And thanks to Qt and uh, Kirigami and similar technologies, it, it's pretty easy to make a user interface that, that works across multiple different devices and different form factors. Um, and so while it's nowhere near consumer ready, it is hacker ready for people who, who, want, who want their traditional Linux um, system but in a mobile environment so that the um, applications can work across them both. Brilliant. Anything, any more surprises? Uh, not for the moment. That is about all I have on this store. Uh, we're also working on snappy packages in Neon, uh, which is the up-and-coming container format. Um, and this week we're, we're going to be planning on how we 
uh, slightly step back from our existing packages, which are Debian based, and for Kitty applications, we want to make snappy packages for all Kitty applications within the next couple of months, uh, which means that it will run on any distro. So we'll take away the question of which underlying system you're running, because everybody will be able to run the latest KDE stuff. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. Denada. Denada? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right.